talented side, Illawarra, and I'm predicting the men of steel will protect their house of steel here today at Wollongong Stadium. Yes, Manly will be the big bad wolf trying to blow away the Steelers here at Wollongong today. A big crowd here at Steelers Stadium packing in for this Saturday game and uh, on the sidelines. Johnny Pitt? Yes, Warren, I'm here and there's a great crowd here today. I couldn't quite hear. There's that much noise going on. A great day for the Steelers. Uh, their ground looks fantastic and the crowd have come up uh, in great numbers to see this Man of Steel. Manly, well, it's a chance for them to atone for previous performances. Really, Graham Lowe's really laid the acid on the line. I think they might stand up today, but uh, the Steelers will be running with the wind in the first half. Here come the Steelers in front of their home crowd and looking for a very big match today are both teams for Illawarra the fullback is David Riolo on the wing it's Rod Wishart Ryan Girdler and Paul McGregor in the centre with Alan McIndoe on the other wing Dale Fritz at 5'8 and John Simon halfback few changes in the forward lineup Ian Russell at lock forward Dave Gallagher and Craig Izzard in the second row Izzard the captain David Walsh, Dean Schifolitti and Bill Dunn in the front row. The coach is Graham Murray. Manley out there. The lineup at fullback, Daryl Williams on the wing, Tony Iro, Kevin Iro and Michael O'Connor in the centre, Craig Hancock on the other wing, Cliff Lyons 5'8", Jeff Tooby is halfback, and the forwards. Des Hasler at lock forward, second row, Matt Dunford and John Jones, the front row, David Hosking, David O'Donnell and Martin Bella, the coach, Graham Lowe. Referee is Greg McCallum. And play underway from the beat of John Jones. Illawarra running from the southern end with this breeze behind them in the first half. And it's Ian Russell, originally named as a fresh reserve, but brought into the team with John Cross now a fresh reserve. Short ball for O'Connor going straight, and he can't hang on to it. Certainly a hot potato there, that pass from line to O'Connor. He's... Uh all over there by Simon. If you see a penalty against Manly, he hears they encroach the five metres. He moves into it, hits it well, but just pushing it towards the left hand up right and wide. Score remains nil all. Yeah. Oh, Callum made a, an error. O'Donnell steals down the blind side. And now it pass to Hancock. He stops in his tracks as he sees Russell in cover. Referee wants a quick play the ball. Well, the referee's at fault there. He moved up before the ball had been played. Tooney, standing. Lyons. Holds it up for Bella. O'Connor now, stepping back inside. Couldn't get the last pass away as Simon upends him. Manley only 25 metres out. O'Donnell. Dunford. Well grasped, but Manley right on the attack here. It's the fifth tackle. Williams puts it up back to the blind side. The Iro brothers lurking. McIndoe, that's McIndoe to Manley. This is a try. Tony Iro brings it around. Lebeus coming straight off the hands of Alan McIndoe and waiting with gleeful arms was Tony Iro for the simplest of tries. But the height of Tony Iro and Kevin Iro was always going to be difficult for Illawarra to contend with as Williams deliberately placed it back to the blind side the two big men come through McIndoe knocks it sideways and Tony Iro there to pick up the spoils well, I wasn't too sure whether McIndoe did knock the spoil I thought it might have been Riali but as we see the, the good bomb put up there by Williams and we see there was Riali and it falls right in the arms of Tony Iro there and uh, what a great start for Manly close to the post, adds two more points, and it's Manly 6, Illawarra 0. Ball must have been knocked down by Hancock here as Illawarra get the feed. Riolo up in the back line, he pushes away from Williams, but O'Connor is low, and Williams again over the top. Riolo hurt. Williams coming over the top. Well, but... Uh... Well, that's a nasty wound for Riolo. But it looks as though the referee is going to put this on report also, so... To, to get around the defence and try to send the big Iro brothers on their way. Here's Schifolini down the centre. Oh, ball and all tackle comes in fairly high from Williams, but he was desperate to stop the pass from Schifolini. Now it's Russell. 
The marker defence from Manley opens up. First Schifferletti, now Russell. 22 metres out. Simon. Good luck. Izzard. Izzard splits them. Can't get it to McGregor. Intercepted by Iro, but the penalty goes to Willow Iro. Iro was never back for five metres. Girdler has the ball placed five metres in from touch. It's it well. It's a good looking kick. It's there. Well, the Wild put their first points of the match on the board, but Manly lead by six points to two. 19 minutes of play gone. It was certainly a beautiful kick there by Girdler. He does it the second time. <laughs> Couple of enthusiastic Steeler fans. The Illawarra defence, which is moving up quickly, has to go back again and turn. Lions, O'Connor, falling through, O'Connor trying. The cross comes to the Illawarra, and what a tremendous piece of work by the fullback. O'Connor very nearly looked as if he was going to win the race. Yeah, a set piece, a beautiful bit of work there by Manny, but uh, a little bit of toughness shown there by Rioli as he was under pressure from O'Connor. Now McIndoe hurt in a tackle as Russell takes it away. down in the tackle. Cliff Lyon saying that the Illawarra player was pulling him down by the jersey. Yeah. Was Ian Russell underneath? Ian Russell there as we see uh, Hosking and Co. flopping and we see Cliff Lyons there and I've got no doubts Cliff Lyon is a fault. Dunford loses it as he gets over the 22. Referee says it was pulled out by Illawarra. The first try, well, the only try. Matt Dunford, the one to be replaced by Chris White. And O'Connor hits it well. Fine kick from Michael O'Connor. So Manly extend their lead. It's eight points to two. Twelve minutes remaining till half time. Only ten minutes to go. There doesn't seem to be a lot of urgency there. We see uh, O'Donnell try to offload that ball, and now we see Illawarra in possession. Inside, they have no position. Horror mistake on the first tackle. Oh, Russell's pass is wide of McGregor and Hancock's off. Only Riolo in front of him. He's got O'Connor there too. He steps away from O'Connor. Hancock went the wrong way. O'Connor was on his left. Well, he's shaking his head. He can't believe. Obviously, there was uh, no communication between the two. And a very slow play the ball then that stopped all of Manley's momentum. Bad pass from Ian Russell. In fact, two mistakes. One initially by Manley to give up the ball on the first tackle, then Russell a bad pass, and now a penalty goes to Manley against Illawarra, not getting off David Hosking, and the referee tells David Hosking that he'll do the rest. Moves into it. He's got plenty of legs on the kick, and it's a fine kick by Apollo once more. Long and straight. Manly lead by 10 points to two. Nine minutes till the break. Fritz stepping well. Russell. Almost out of the tackle. Bella just put him off balance. Izzard. Only 20 metres out now. Steelers can go either way. Players on either side of the ruck. Deep. Riolo. Hasler gets hold of him. 15 out now. Simon calling the shots. Cross is on the field. John Cross. Fifth tackle. Only 13 metres out. Schifoletti. Simon. Long ball for Girdler. Puts him in some space. Got the pass back inside. Knocked into touch. Now, who did it come off? The referee is going to check with the touch judge to see who should get the scrum feed. I can't well out whether Girdler was out before he threw that ball back in. We'll have a look here and we see Girdler going back in. So he has thrown it. So the, uh, the rule is that it's an Illawarra feed once again here. That ball coming off Hasler. I thought the, there may have been a, an inadvertent touch by Illawarra last, but they've got the scrum win. McGregor. McGregor gets it away to Gardner, and there's the try he was looking for just a moment ago. From the scrum win. Straight across the back line. Girdler 
put into a little hole. And a good try just before half time. McGregor cut across field, got inside Iro, got behind O'Connor, and Girdler had gone onto the pass. A good try from the scrum. You see the ball going across, and what a beautiful pair of feet McGregor has. We saw last night, and there's Girdler backing up and uh, scoring that about 10 metres out from the upright. And once again, we see it here as he's the beautiful feet of McGregor, the twinkling feet, beautiful passes. Girdler gets inside O'Connor there, and uh, just what the uh, coach ordered. Graham Murray would be happy with that. 19-year-old Ryan Girdler. He moves into it, trying to convert his own try. And look, the red dot here at Steelers Stadium. And Illawarra hit back. It's Manly 10, Illawarra 8. Williams wants it. Tuvi. Last tackle. Tuvi gets the kick up. McIndoe, Kevin Iro flying. McIndoe comes around the left. Danger here. Jones just makes the tackle. Well, very few players would have been able to stay with McIndoe over the 70 metres that lay ahead. Here's Wishart. It was a beautiful tackle there by John Jones. And a good one by Lyons on Wishart. David Walsh. Stifoletti. Simon. A oh, bad pass for Izzard. Girdler. McIndoe now gets a chance. Darrell Williams, the only one in front of him. Williams comes across. McIndoe knocked over. And Iroh falls on him from behind. Williams did all he could do. Now Triolo, he's got Girdler. Alongside him is Russell. Oh, a great tackle. There's a penalty against this. is 10 minutes in the sim bin also. Now that could have been quite easy, a penalty try. Hasler it was. Well, he came from an offside position. I thought that McCallum should have sent him to, should have awarded the penalty try. He was offside. There was no one in front of him. Well, yeah, I suppose the logic of what you're saying is dead right. If he should never have been there, it was obvious that a try was going to be scored. But very similar to the Terry Lamb incidents. Here it is again. Illawarra flying here with Girdler getting the pass on to Ian Russell and from an offside position Hasler cuts him down well maybe it uh, didn't deserve a penalty try but Williams was coming across and covered the fence there but I thought that he uh, might have made it had Hasler not impeded his process, progress it's a good run by uh, the winger Girdler from right in front levels the scores 10 points each Illawarra and Manly And the siren for halftime has gone to the crowd. Getting their money's worth in a free-flowing first half of football and watching the home side come back. It's ten points all at halftime here at Steelers Stadium. Greg McCallum gets play underway for the second half. And you can see that Manley looking into the sun there and Daryl Williams just checking trying to protect his uh, sight from the sun as he was trying to pick up the ball from that kick. Try, and there was a little bit of cover behind uh, that tackle of Hasler, I thought, coming in from the wing. There's a charge down with Tuvi. Tuvi with a charge down, Riolo just gets back. Good pace by both little men. Well, we saw the charge down once or twice in the first half. That time it very nearly led to a try for Manley. Well, they're very lucky because you see a break being made here by Mack. Here's the charge down by Tuvi. Knocking it down and Riolo had to turn quickly. And plucked it out of the air right in front of Tuvi's face. Now it's Izzard back upfield. Simon runs another 10 metres before kicking it once he stepped inside O'Donnell. And that's a great kick. What a superb kick from John Simon. Yes, yeah, certainly a beautiful kick from John Simon. He put the little fella in there too, but he's got a much better job of it. He's got more agility. There's a, there's a chance here for Illawarra as Jeff Tuvey knocks on at the scrum base. Tuvey feeding the scrum. It was hurled back, but he just oh. knocked it on there. And, well, whether he really knocked it on, he certainly made a mess of it. The foot of the lock forward got in the road of his hands. Well, touch. Here's McGregor with a great moment. Another 
the Steelers try, second try of the game to Ryan Girdler. And second time it's been laid on by Paul McGregor from a scrum. So everything doubling up for the Steelers here. There's a touch of day, deja vu in this. We see once again he beats Williams and there's Clippy Lines. And once again we see Girdler getting in behind O'Connor there and at six points. Thank you very much. Well, Manley have paid for the scrum base error by Tooby. The scrum feed went to Illawarra and then the dancing, stepping feet of McGregor set up Girdler. He read it well. There's good combination between these two centres. Girdler. Try number six. Two in this game. Two tries and he's kicked three from four. This is right in front. And he adds two more points. It's Illawarra 16, Manly 10. And against the feed here, Simon dives in, trying to get it out. But the penalty goes against Manly for screwing the scrum around. Uh, Connor questioning it. It's a strange rule, this because the ball was out, and uh, I'm just wondering whether he was still part of the scrum, and I thought it was fair game there. The second row was still bound to his front rowers, and uh, he's still striking for the ball. It so appeared that the penalty was for breaking too early, wasn't it, in the end? I was wondering whether Simon would go for the field goal this early in the match. Russell holds it up for Fritz. McGregor was trying to straighten up and come off him. Fifth tackle. Gregor dummy half. Schifoletti tried to get it inside. It was knocked down. And that's a knock on by Manley. Russell has it. Simon pulls out of a tackle. Looking for his winger. Couldn't get it to Wishart. Wishart had just come back in a touch early. Cross. Izzard. Manley hanging on here. John Jones intercepts to save the day. Yes. Replacing John Cross. And his dad would be very happy. Kevin Goldsman, former Canterbury, East and Kangaroo second rower. And he's pub at Hay. How are you, Goldie? As Lyons links up with Kevin Iro. And the ball just knocked down out of his hands as he tried to get the pass away. It wasn't pinched as such. Now Schifoletti quickly turns defence into attack. Certainly under pressure here, man. He's hugging up. We might see a penalty here. Big Marty. Once again, it's Cliff Lyons. Lyons has marched an extra 10 metres for arguing. In the first half, Lyons disputed the referee's decision. Now he, he gets into a bit of an argument with Michael O'Connor. He's a very frustrated man right now, Cliff Lyons. Well, that's the second penalty against Cliff Lyons, and... Uh, I think he's an experienced player. He should know that you can't win with the referees. Ryan Girdler, four from five, and a cool head. But not with this one, he pushes it wide. Hancock takes it safely. Sets sail across field. Still going, Hancock. Can Illawarra deliver the knockout punch? They've had plenty of possession in Manly territory. Schifoletti, McGregor. He's a handful, McGregor. It's a wonderful game today. Schifoletti heads to the post, puts a little kick ahead. Schifoletti regathers. Toast. Fifth tackle. Lyons and Williams just got hold of him. Lyons is underneath. Can he play the ball? Gallagher. Lost it. Yep. One of the few sides who really can score tries from their own end of the field is Manly. Particularly someone like Kevin Iroh as Lyons kicks deep. It's out on the floor. Cliff Lyons, what an enigma he is. Unpredictable, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just has these off days. This is a calculated risk to kick early and uh, he's on the early tackle count. We see that ball just popping out over the, the sideline there by centimetres on the full. Scrum feed. Fritz. Goes straight through. Oh, ankles up by Hazza. Goes again and makes it. Fritz looked as if he was going to stroll through. Unopposed. Hazla breaking from the scrum desperately got to an ankle. But Fritz manages to go again. The third try from a scrum for Illawarra. Simple as this. 
Fritz has a good step. He left Darrell Williams standing. Great work by Hasler to at least get to him. And Chris White unable to stop him. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised that Des Hasler didn't break from the scrum much sooner. And uh, thinking that Williams had Fritz just hang the hunt off a little bit there. And that was enough to allow Fritz to cut through after he stepped off that uh, right foot. And Fritz, some people feel that he should be in the running for a Queensland origin spot on his recent performances. He was spotted by Mal Meninga in Rockhampton in 1989. <laughs> Ryan Girdler, right in front of the post, adds two more points. Illawarra, 22, Mal 18. Darrell Williams to drop out. Simon to Wishart. Wishart will get some revs up here. But the Manly defence holds. O'Donnell doing well. Russell getting more involved in the work around the rucks. Gets it to the 22. Good position to attack. Illawarra can set up their play from here. McGregor goes up the centre. Which way are they going to go? Simon on the blind side. Done on the open. It comes out to Wizard. Now it's Russell. Away from Tuvi. Ten metres out. Still two tackles to go. Simon. Simon still going. Gets it to oh. cross. Hancock loses it. It's there for the taking. Oh, the referee says it was knocked on by Illawarra. Yeah, John Cross, the man, bombing a try there. Certain try, as we saw... Simon duck in behind a Martin Bella tackle. We watch here Simon throw the dummy and cuts in behind and see Marty Bella put the big four out. Off later John Cross there, but maybe Williams took his eye off the ball there. Back up from uh, last night's game, you're talking about TV, Hazler and Lyon. You see them knock on once more. Cross makes, makes amends for uh, that drop pass. That pass was always going to be hard to take. It was thrown fairly hard at a sharp angle. On a good day, it would have stuck. Simon, done. Ten metres out. The nail in the hand of John Simon, and there it is. He nails him, all right. The nail in the coffin. Simon off his left foot. Last night in the City Country Origin match, he kicked a field goal off his right foot. This time it's with the left foot, and that gives him the 13-point break. We have a look here, it's all too easy for Illawarra's off his left foot there, just puts it straight over the black dot and really puts the dirt on the coffin. Dale and Darren. Dale and Darren, well, yes. They're both from Queensland, they are coaching. And here's Izzard running off Simon. And now it goes to Wishart. Russell is there as well. He's out at Williams' tackle. O'Connor gets hold of him. McGregor, McGregor is close. He bounds over the line, but I think he was tackled. He was. Referee McCallum gives Manly a relieving penalty. Cliff Lyons calls to it. At half time, the time in possession was dead even. Now, Illawarra away again. Bill Dunn going close. Now it's all Manly. It's all Illawarra, the time in possession. As we look at Goldspink. Goldspink could go all the way. Desperate defence has a little hurt in the tackle, but he's still on his feet. Simon goes himself. Arms and legs and bodies going everywhere. McGregor loops a pass out. It's Iro versus the rest. And Iro wins. Tony Iro off to Iondo. It'll come back for the knock on. It was Tony Iro versus five Illawarra players. There's far too many missed uh, tackles around the rucks. And particularly around the dummy half area and the first forwards up on each side of the ruck. Penalty sounds right on full time as the siren sounded that Illawarra are going to play on. Uh, will they go for the goal or the try? It looks as if Alan McIndoe is making the decisions. He decides that they'll shoot for goal. I think his fans would have preferred them to go for the try. Ryan Girdler from a long way out and he doesn't go close. Manly will run it out. David Lydiard's going to have one last crash at it from his own end of the field. But McIndoe cleans it up. Steve. 